Hey folks, how are you doing this fine evening? So tonight I wanted to do a follow-up video to the video I did on how to detect a jealous bitch and call her out on it. So there was a commenter who left a comment underneath that video confirming exactly what we're talking about. So if you're watching this video or listening rather, and I'm almost positive you are, and everyone else listening, please pay close attention to what this person said. So I have a screenshot of it if you want evidence or verification of that they actually commented this, if they end up deleting it later, because people can change their opinions and views, and I hope they do. But uh, what they said was, what this person said, she, uh, it seems like this is a female commenting, they said that uh, they specifically are repulsed when a man who is not good looking or who they consider ugly compliments them, right? Now think about how fucked up that is for a minute. And not only that, she specifically said women who are good looking or average looking should be repulsed and should not appreciate compliments from ugly or what they deem ugly or not good looking men. So that confirms every single thing I was just talking about in the video about exactly that. That's exactly the type of female you want to have nothing to fucking do with. Because guess what? She's going to be disgusted and repulsed by you complimenting her if she doesn't deem you having a feature that you literally had no control over. Think about that for a minute. Think about how fucked up that is for a second. So there's a difference between not mutually being attracted to someone and actually being repulsed by them, right? Repulsion is quite a heavy word. It's quite an extreme word, and it indicates a very nasty emotion, right? A very bitter, resentful emotion. So if you're a good-looking guy and you compliment this type of person, and she reciprocates, oh, nice, thank you for the compliment because you're good-looking, and that's why she's being friendly to you, that's a deceitful bitch that you want to avoid like the fucking plague. It doesn't matter how good looking you are. And I look at that and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> if I randomly encountered her on the street out and about, she'd absolutely love my comment to her. She'd love my compliment to her because I've always been good looking, considered good looking, and I've never lacked confidence in my looks either. And I know that for a damn fact. <laughs> so, but if it was somebody else, right? Or if I had different features that were not considered good looking, right? Then the story would be completely fucking different, wouldn't it? If it's just somebody that totally randomly never encountered me before, right? And so all of these other guys on my channel, not all of them, but a large number of men on my channel who are subscribers and on many other channels, men in the world, uh, all over the place. This is exactly what they're running into with these bitch females. This is exactly the problem. Because you could just easily not be repulsed and just be friendly and feel appreciation that's genuine and affection for the person complimenting you without any repulsion at all. You could value the fact that they find you attractive and appreciate that. And that's the sign of a good quality person that appreciates others' appreciation. The sign of a shitty quality person is someone who resents others' appreciation. Right? And especially if you resent their appreciation because they have features that they didn't have any control over in coming to this world. Absolutely no control over that you deem ugly. So you're going to be resentful and bitter towards them for something they literally had no control over. And you're going to say women should be that way? Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking disgusting, you know? If I saw a chick doing that to a dude, I'd give that bitch the fucking middle finger and I'd call her out publicly if I saw that shit, you know? If I saw her being nasty or unkind or cruel like that, you know? There's a big fucking difference between a genuine compliment and a guy being creepy and a guy going out of his way to be fucking gross, basically. There's a big fucking difference. They ain't even in the same ballpark. Okay. If a guy's being an asshole and then the chick calls him out on being an asshole, that's one completely different thing. Totally different scenario. Right? 
a guy saying and meaning it that a, a girl looks gorgeous and is attractive. And he means that. And he's actually genuinely feeling that attraction. He's not being an asshole. That's something that's to be met with friendliness, kindness, and appreciation. It doesn't matter what he looks like. So in other words, she's saying that she would be repulsed if she saw someone who was a paraplegic or someone who was mentally handicapped in some notable way, right? Or in a wheelchair or, dis or had some disfigurement physically. She would be repulsed if that person complimented her. And the only appreciation she would have is out of some pity for the person's disability. Oh, she pities the person. Therefore, oh, that's so sweet and cute. That's so sweet and cute. But you're never fucking getting my internally and her subconscious. But I'm never going to fucking have anything to do with you sexually. Thank you, though. <laughs> right? Bullshit right, left, and center. Instead of having a genuine appreciation for the fact that the person's complimenting her and really meaning it, right? It would be this facade, this social facade. Oh, I need to display this gentle, friendly behavior towards this disabled person, even though inside I'm repulsed by how they look and I would never fucking kiss them or sleep with them or have anything to do. Ugh. Inside of her brain, that's what would be going on in terms of the romantic department. But in terms of her external display, if it was somebody like disabled, she'd make this display that, oh, it's so sweet and cute that he finds me attractive, right? But if it's somebody who seems like he's otherwise not mentally disabled and he just physically looks ugly... She's just, she's going to feel repulsed by that, right? Disgusted. So you're basically, in other words, what she's saying is you're doubly fucked if you don't have a physical disability because she has no reason to make a social facade that she appreciates your compliment, right? Because you're quote unquote physically enabled. In other words, you're expected socially to fulfill this role of being this functional male, deal with it, dealing with it, right? But because you have these looks that are not deemed attractive sexually to her, she has the right to feel repulsed by you, right? So this right here, this right here is the problem. And I'm amazed that this person actually commented this and mentioned this. So you can check it out. If it's still there, look at it. You can see the, comp the comment and look at my response, you know, and other commenters' responses to this that are very elaborate. You know, so, and call the bitch out because, you know, lady, whoever you are that said that you can change your view. Anybody who is behaving like that, you can change your internal structure. You can, you can get to a place where you genuinely have affection for others and you don't feel repulsed. You can genuinely get to a place within your heart and mind where you genuinely appreciate others and the repulsion is gone. It doesn't exist in you anymore. Okay. You can get there. So I don't hold people to their views or to their behavior that they currently have. What I'm saying is whoever you are, change that thought process and behavior and feeling set inside yourself. Do that, especially, come on, for fuck's sake, if you're a good looking female, how fucking difficult is it to just feel more affection for others? Come on. You know, repulsion, all that's going to fucking do is toxicify your own internal state. So why the fuck would you allow yourself to feel repulsed? by somebody showing appreciation for you. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? It's stupid. Don't be fucking stupid. Don't be a stupid bitch. Be a friendly, sexy, gorgeous, attractive woman. You know what's gorgeous? What's gorgeous is when a woman looks good and she has a good attitude and she feels genuine appreciation that she reciprocates. And you can tell she genuinely appreciates things. You know, I've met these women in the world. They exist. They're around. And I'd go with them any day over your sorry bitch ass. If you're going to be this chick who has this bad attitude towards guys you deem physically unattractive, right? And I'd call your ass on it. Even if you were dating me, I'd call you out on that shit. I'd be like, you know what? You were a rude bitch to that dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. You know, <laughs> it's like I got fucking 20 other chicks lined up wanting to pounce on me who are way fucking better attitudes than you who look better. And who appreciate my presence and other men's presence in their lives more than you do. So get the fuck off, you know, get the fuck out of this place. That's the type of shit you need to talk. You need to say to these kinds of bitches if they behave like that. You need to call their sorry asses out. Be like, no, you're not going to fucking have that attitude towards people, you know. Even if they say that to you in private in person, Ugh, but it was really disgusting. Be like, why the fuck didn't you just appreciate the fact that he actually felt that? 
why are you gotta be all like bitter and resentful and tell tell me about it as if as if the person did something wrong. Oh, do you have any idea how much balls it fucking takes for a guy who is otherwise considered not good looking or unattractive to actually openly compliment a female who he finds attractive? Do you know how much fucking balls that fucking takes? No fucking appreciation at all for the amount of actual masculinity that that act fucking takes in a guy, right? A guy who's genuinely going to do that and he's going to mean it and he's not going to be a sleazeball about it. He's going to do it in an actual state of genuine appreciation, right? Without any of this fawning or any of this other crap, right? He's just going to genuinely, boom, straight up say what he means and mean what he says, right? So it's amazing. These bitches will come out of the woodworks and you'll see them in person and they'll, they'll expose themselves on how they describe how they respond to these situations. They'll expose themselves. They'll tell you. And they'll tell you everything you need to know about them. And it makes it really fucking easy because you're like, yeah, you are a nasty, bitter bitch emotionally. So you're not somebody I ever want to be around. Thanks for letting me know that. You've just exposed yourself. And so these chicks, the only types of men they'll ever have success with are men who are lowering their standards and willing to put up with bitchy attitudes and willing to put up with that lower quality type of attitude because they're desperate for sex They're desperate for anus or pussy and they are willing to lower their standards to a chick that just looks good physically, but has a shitty fucking attitude. They're never going to have success with actual high quality men who value themselves, have high self-esteem and who will call out their bullshit every time they fucking see it till they stop that shit. Right? So you, as a man who has confidence, you need to create a precedence for other men in your life and for other women in your life that number one, you will be a presence where people will be respecting and appreciating each other when you're around and you're going to ensure that and you're going to call people out who are not doing that. And you know, you need to also create a precedence that these are our standards. Okay. A woman who is gorgeous is this, she has a gorgeous appearance and personality and attitude. And in fact, the personality and attitude are far more important than the looks. Cause if you have a good attitude and behavior as a female, you're going to be far more attractive than the woman who looks good, but is a bitch period period. You're going to be far more attractive. So what this means is that there's so many men in the world who are these groveling desperate individuals who don't help the situation. They need to get out of that state and who need to actually up their standards of the types of women they're going to put up with and allow to be around them. So it's on the guy's end more than it is the female's end. You need to up your standards for yourself and for the types of women that you're going to be willing to be around and have in your life. Because you want women who are enthusiastic to be around you and to see you. You want women who are genuinely happy when they see you. You want women who actually reciprocate your kind thoughts and gestures and really mean that reciprocation, right? That's what you're looking for. So... In the context of what she commented there, it's it's just amazing. It, I, I read it and I'm almost like, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, this is just so convenient, isn't it? She's literally directly exposing the psychology and she's saying it straight up, you know? So it's like, hey, I at least appreciate the honesty. Thanks for being honest that you're a resentful, repulsive, nasty bitch in terms of your internal emotional state towards others, right? And that you re- you're repulsed by people who can't, who didn't have any say in something that happened to them in their life, right? Maybe they got an injury and that's what defigured their face, right? Maybe they originally looked like an amazing fucking supermodel, right? As of a guy. And then they just got disfigured. And then now you're repulsed by them because their face is disfigured, right? Whereas otherwise before you would have been turned on head over heels by them, right? So I was like, get the fuck out of here. You know, God damn it. That's shallower than a fucking empty pool. For fuck's sake, you know, shallower than an empty fucking pool. So it's like, no, you're not going to get away with that shit. No, you're not going to socially be able to just do that shit and, and have people approve of it. No, you're going to get called out on that shit, bitch. Fuck you. If you're going to be like that, you know, if I got a friend next to me, 
who is attracted to you and I see you expressing repulsion towards him or that attitude. I'm going to call your ass out on that shit. You know, what a fucking double standard. Me as a guy who values himself and has high self-esteem, I always fucking appreciate it when every single female that I interact with appreciates me and compliments me and talks to me nice and sweet and kind, no matter what she looks like. I always fucking appreciate that. Always. Why the fuck would I be repulsed by something that's genuinely meant and genuinely felt by somebody that's genuinely appreciative? Why would I be repulsed by somebody appreciating me? That says something really fucking dark about your own self-esteem. It means you have no actual self-esteem. And it means what you're doing is you're trying to spew that onto others. And you're trying to spread that toxicity that you need to fucking solve in yourself. What's toxic and what's rotting in you, if you have that psychology, is the fact that you do not appreciate others. You do not appreciate yourself either. That's why you feel that way. So it's not really a repulsion towards others. It's a repulsion towards your own self, your own inner self, and your own inner traumatized self. You're not willing to untraumatize. You're wanting to create an excuse as to why you need to remain traumatized or why you should remain bitter and resentful. Right? And you're using the looks as a shield for that. We see through that shit. Everybody listening to this sees through that shit. And there's tons of fucking bitches that exist in the world who behave like that. They're all over the fucking place. And they need to be called out every fucking time they do that shit. Every goddamn time. You know? No, your looks do not allow you to get away with bullshit like that. No. And there's this other completely innocuous comment towards the bottom about for an autist, someone diagnosed with autism spectrum, you display very normy patterns of behavior. So, so it's like, okay, as if that actually has, has anything to do with anything. First of all, a person saying something like that obviously doesn't understand high functioning autism spectrum diagnosis. Number two, I don't identify myself according to that diagnosis, by the way, at all. It's just a diagnosis on a piece of paper. But high-functioning autism is known for a person being able to mask as if they are completely, quote-unquote, normie or neurotypical. Like I said many times, most of the symptoms you experience in private in a recharge form after interactions, because you have to muster up so much energy and wherewithal to be able to have the interaction externally and in person. So what I'm saying here is that I know firsthand with my diagnosis, it being considered very mild compared to many other people's diagnoses, for me even, I had to do a shit ton of studying and practicing and prepping and all this crap, masking everything else to be able to go out in public and develop the balls to regularly and consistently talk to women that I find attractive. Boom, 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 just like that, one after the other, and not hesitate, not hold back. It took a lot of fucking practice for me to do that. And it was a night and day difference in terms of how the responses were towards me. And this is me with all these other assets in place, right? Considered well endowed, according to others, what they say. Considered very good looking, according to others, according to what they tell me. Considered very attractive, considered very eloquent in terms of speech and in terms of behavior. Considered very physiologically strong, athletic in shape, everything else. So I've got all the stuff going for me that people find attractive. And I can up here as if I'm a neurotypical or quote unquote normal and all this other type of stuff. I'm able to do all those things, but it takes energy. It takes effort. It takes focus and it takes dedication to be able to consistently pull that off. It's not easy. It's an effort. It's an actual effort to do that. And that's with all of that, those assets I have in place. So think about this for a minute. Usually when that term's used, autist or normie, it's used, it's either term is usually used in a derogatory sense. So there's nothing wrong with you if you are either on the autism spectrum or if you are on the neurotypical spectrum. There's nothing wrong with either of those things. We live in a world where everybody's paranoid of being diagnosed or classified neurotypical because they think it means like average or boring or mediocre. No, it just means that they're not diagnosed with a mental disability on top of the standard stresses that all of us experience in this existence, in this world. They don't have an additional diagnosis of things going on beyond that. That's all that means. It has nothing to do about them being mediocre or average or not good quality people or not unique or anything of the sort. So that's another toxic ass thing with this online bullshit. People using these terms autist and normie as 
it's usually used in a derogatory sense. It's usually rarely used in a positive, uplifting, kind sense, right? And it's completely innocuous because it's irrelevant whether somebody has those things or doesn't. The point is you need to be genuinely appreciating people and appreciating people's bravery and courage to approach you and express their interest in you. And the fact that they actually are interested in you for crying out loud, you know? So I have no respect at all for men or women who have this attitude towards others, right? So stand up for what's right and be genuinely appreciative. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.